Yo, what is up everybody? Today I'll be showing you guys the secret to perfect velocity on iPhone. For the syncing and timer mapping, it will be free. And the two apps that I'll be using is VN and Time Freeze. But later in the video, I will also be showing you guys how to add some effects to it to make it look even smoother. But that is optional because you do need to pay for that. And the app that I'll be using for that is VideoStar. And also, actually more than 80% of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed. And subscribing is free, so... If you guys enjoyed the video at all, make sure you leave a like and subscribe because it really helps me out. And yeah, with that being said, let's get into the video. And the two apps that I will be using is called VN and Time Freeze. If you're on Android, uh, you can substitute VN for CapCut. But basically explaining the apps, VN is going to have like a graph for the velocity. And Time Freeze is basically going to frame blend your clips. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to open up uh, VN. And you're just going to create a new project. And then you just add in your clip. And now let's add in our music. All right, and now that you have your song in there, you're just gonna split down your clip to where you want that first clip to be. So I'm just gonna clip out that extra bit. And then we just want this shot on my marker right there. And it's kind of like just a little bit of trial and error with the syncing. And then after that trial and error, it should be something like this. Now what we're going to do is we are actually going to open up our photos and you're going to go to your clip in your camera roll and you're going to edit it and we're just going to trim this down just a little bit before the kill and a little bit after the kill. So just something like this. That's all you really should need. And then done, save as new clip. And now we're going to open up time freeze and then click on that clip that you just made in your camera roll and press set speed. And now we're just going to click this last option. It won't be the exact same numbers as I have. You want to do the highest frame rate possible. So you're going to do convert. And it's basically going to look like this. And now here, you're actually going to start your screen recording. So you're going to screen record this right here. And then you can press delete so you just need to screen record that portion and this is what the final product looks like on this uh this frame blend and then do not worry about uh these like this green thing on the side because when we add effects and like shakes it'll just completely crop it out and you won't even notice and now i'm just going to show you why we screen record it instead of like saving it from the actual app and this screen recording is what we saved and then this is what the other product will look like and we press save on it you see how that's like a lot more pixelated? It has a weird like slowing slowing down and it like speeds up. Now we're going to go back and open up VN. Uh, we're going to add in this clip over here. And we're basically just going to split it like a little bit before that beat right there. And we can actually just get rid of that. And now we're going to try to split this one at the same exact spot. So you can kind of see that. We want to have it like smooth, but then again... In the actual edit, you won't even notice that there's a split because of effects and stuff. So you can see, you just want to get that as best as you can. Split your clip where you want that to end. So I just want my clip to end on like this build. And you're going to go to split and we have this graph. And I'm just going to drag this one down. Probably drag these two up and something like this. So I came up with something like this. And what I actually, what is super beneficial that this app does, Time Freeze, is it makes it so it can do like a really slow slow-mo. I could go all the way down here, which would be like, oh, I don't even know. It would just be super slow and it would still be smooth. This is what it would look like. It almost stops completely, but it's not choppy. Now we're going to export it. Personally, I'm just going to do 4K and 24 FPS. And now if that's all you wanted to see, then that's all the tutorial is going to have for you. But for the extra people who want to see like how to add some effects to make this look like, like basically so you won't notice the split, then stick around because I'm going to open up Video Start and do a little bit of extra stuff. So now you open up Video Start and you press the plus and edit video. And then you import your uh, edit right over here. Then I don't want the full edit in here, so I'm just going to split it down a little bit. And now the first tip I have for you is to create like a color correction. And now we're just going to do a super simple one. So we're just going to go to transform and custom coloring. And I am just going to go to color, turn down the saturation a little bit, go to color magic, enable, and probably something like this cool magic. 
and then we'll add a little bit of bloom to it basically what this is going to do is just going to make these two different clips look a little bit more alike and now you're going to create it and now what we're going to do is we're just going to split it a little bit before uh before that little split and now let's just split it again like right over here so we have this middle section and now we're going to go new multi-layer and click that go to edit keyframes and let's set keyframe there and then let's set another keyframe here but this time we're going to zoom in like quite a bit and we're going to and then we're going to move one keyframe over zoom in even more except this time we're going to move it up then we're going to move one keyframe over and then maybe add like a little bit of tilt on that and then we're going to go one keyframe over move it down a little bit then we're going to move a few frames over and we're going to move that tilt to the left and then we're going to go to the end ish and move that tilt to the middle and then we're going to go to center layer and put the size not back onto 100 but onto like somewhere like 100 and like five ish so it doesn't have those those green like glitches on the side and it's going to look weird at first it's going to look like at first but now we have to add our uh graphs so for the size i'm going to add a graph like that for the path i'm going to do a uh, graph like that which is gonna make it shake oh also one keyframe before you do you move the screen up you want to make sure that it's uh, centered so you got the so that's what you have right now and then we're gonna go back go to color and we're gonna add tracking blur and then mirror and something like that and then if you guys want to use this shake I'm gonna make it into a QR code and I'm just going to put that on the screen right now so you guys can screenshot it or whatever. And then, of course, you can add even more effects like glow or anything. And yeah. All right, that's been just going to wrap it up for this video. If you guys learned anything or enjoyed it at all, make sure you leave a like and subscribe because it really helps me out. And also, I recommend you guys going to check out my Twitch stream down below because I often react to my viewers and I get to interact with every single one of them. And yeah, with that being said, I'm out. Peace. Man, this shit fire, man. All great. Yeah, bro, gon' pop out with the light if you want to stack. Yeah, niggas think I'm broke. Yeah, bro, gon' pop out with the light if you want to stack. Yeah, niggas think I'm broke.